Hello everybody, how you doing? And here we go again. Uh, an, uh, another odd time for me anyway to do a stream. Anyway, uh, today is Sunday, uh, November 21st. That's right. So anyway, um, we're going to uh, do uh, some unboxing here. We got a mystery box. And before we get into that, uh, hope you guys saw my uh, video that I put up uh, the other day on the new operating system for PowerPC Macintoshes. And it's called uh, Sobert or Sorbet or Sauber, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's a combination of Leopard and Snow Leopard. And it's got a lot of new integrated stuff. I know Mike, Mike Smack Shack, he put it on his system. Uh, I know Greg Thompson from the Mac Attack, he's, he's put it and been playing with it. And of course I did a kind of a online, uh, uh, not really a tutorial, but just kind of showed you a, kind of a, not a detailed step-by-step, -step, but um, you know, how to, to get it on there. And we played with it a little bit. But yeah, it's it's a really, really rock solid system. I'm very impressed. Uh, you can use the WebKit browser that looks like Safari on it, and it works really good. I'm just really surprised how nice it works. All the, the motions are very, very smooth, much better than it is with Leopard. Um, so these, you know, a lot of people love Tiger. I think once they hop onto this, they're gonna ditch Tiger because it's just a really, really neat system. Um, it does work on the G5 IMAX because I put it on mine and Mike put it on his and he also got it on a, a PowerBook G4 which uh, he's uh, graciously giving that to me so he installed that on there. He had a little bit of a problem getting on it but it's working just fine and it flies pretty good on the G4 systems too so it's really amazing. So anyway yeah so I don't know where everybody is tonight. Uh, it's just a little after six o'clock here in California on the West Coast here. Um, hope your Sunday was very good. Of course, you know, next week we're going to have Thanksgiving and everybody's getting ready for that. I know I am. So, yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to look at this uh, box here. And you'll see that uh, that has some eBay goodies in there. I, uh, I bought that off of eBay. It was kind of a lot of stuff, uh, a certain lot of different things. I should say I bought it all on one lot. Uh, but there's several different things in there and uh, stuff that, that I could definitely use. So anyway, yeah. So we're going to start tearing in the box here. And even if you're not here for the stream, that's fine. Um, you can catch it on the flip-flop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of zoom out on the camera here a little bit. And that way we can kind of tear into the box here. Now I'm kind of working in tight quarters here. So let me uh, untape it here. Looks like they did a really good job of taping it. And I'm just going to kind of spin this around here. And I've got lots of projects in the fire. I'm just waiting on other people to uh, get them to me. Um, let's, let me take a peek in here real quick just to make sure there's nothing uh, too personal in here. So, let's see here. Okay, that's good. Some interesting... Uh, Packaging here. Um, <laughs> well, let's see here. What we got here. Let's see. Uh, well, I guess they didn't need the magazine here. Uh, the Family Handyman. Hmm. April 2016. I guess you can use that for packaging. It's kind of different. I'll put that down here. So we have some things wrapped up here. Get over here so you can see me here. Or see the thing here. 
So we're going to open this up here first. Well, you didn't, uh, I must say, you went to the trouble of packing you doing everything individually. That's great. So let's see here. Get this uh, opened up here. This is a multiple unboxing, it looks like. Scissors here. Oh, that's right. That's right. right. Here you go, Fred. You played that, Frederica. So let's see here. Uh, what the heck is this? This is a airport base station. It's an older one, but you can see the Ethernet on it, USB, headphone jack. But yeah, that's the uh, airport base, like a little mini base station, rather. Is. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's one thing. But Mia. Yeah, let one of the cats in here. You go in there or out. Come on. Come in there or out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. All right. Stay out there. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So now we will open the next item here. So we've got another one here. And again. Wrapped uh, up pretty good here. Yeah, I get this unzipped here. Let me try to get it in front of you here. Alright, let's see what we got here. So this is an adapter for like a, a power book. So that's good. Uh, connector uh, looks pretty good on that there. So yeah, so I've got a couple of these, but you can never have too many of these. And of course this plug will come off and you can plug it into this uh, airport. I think I have a couple of these plugs too. So. But yeah, so that's uh, looks in pretty decent shape there. Let me just uh, tie the wires around it here so it doesn't get messed up here. Now I don't have a power book to plug in. I, when I get that one from Mike, I will. But the other one that I have is not working very well. And i got to tear it apart. And i just uh, waiting to get that other one back so anyway so that's that's in there so let's see what the next thing is here A eyesight camera. It's got the magnetic mount on it and this is a Firewire 400. Uh, I kind of wanted one of these for my cube and uh, the shutter works on it there you can see. Uh, yeah that looks pretty good there. Let's see. Let's stick. Well I had to stick it to metal here but anyway. So anyway that's uh, one of them. And there's not just one Firewire eyesight camera, there's two. And again, the shutter works on that. Just need to clean the lens on that a little bit there. 
Uh, again, magnetic mount, very nice. Firewire 400, plug looks fantastic on it. I mean, it, it, it's in really nice shape. There's not really anything wrong with it. It's pretty clean, actually. So I'll put that there. And we got another package here. Let's get this out of the way. The cats are playing with it down here. So we'll open up another one here. Keep it real good too. Plugs here, and this would go. This would go. Hey, what are you guys? Hey, what are you guys doing over there? Hey, you guys be nice now. Um, this is a, a the uh, plug for it, so that way we can uh, we'll get in there like that. So there we go for our airport station here. We got two of them here, so very good, excellent. And let's see what else we got here. We have another magazine. I feel like birds. Very, very colorful. Yeah. And then we have one more thing in the box. Yeah, open it up here again. Hey, you guys, be nice now. Come on. They sure uh, tape these up real good here. USB Apple Super Drive. So if your Mac does not natively have an optical drive in it, this external one will work as long as you get USB to it. Now I put one of these in the Franken Mac because uh, it fits in that slot there. And so I wanted another one that way I can use it on my iMac here because once in a while I have a need to, to put it in there. So um, what we can do, actually, we can plug this in and see if it works. Of course, the problem with that is uh, I don't have USB, US, <laughs> USB ports because, number one, I'm streaming on my phone. And number two, I have two cameras plugged in. And number three, I have my Yeti microphone plugged in. So anyway, yeah. So, I got that, and that's been winning that. So that's pretty good. I got a really good deal on all this, including the shipping. I got all this stuff here, all these things you see here on the table here, all the stuff the box is in the room, all this stuff here for thirty bucks. And that was including the shipping. So I made out really good. So like I said, I got the two Firewire 400 EyeSight cameras. Got the Apple SuperDrive external USB SuperDrive. Got an airport base station. The two power cords. And the um, power, uh, power, power brick for a, a power book computer, like a G4 or, or G3. So yeah, 
So, sorry guys, the cats keep uh, running around here. So let me uh, go over here. So yeah, so we've got a pretty good, pretty good haul here. And I think we'll do pretty good there. So yeah, so that's what was in the mystery box. Like I said, that was a pretty good deal. I had somebody looking at her briefly. I had one watcher just for a brief minute here. But anyway, yeah, so um, I think it was a pretty good deal. But like I said, um, if you guys uh, have a PowerPC Mac and you want to play around with that new Sherbert, Sobert, Sobert, however you want to pronounce it, Sherbert, uh, <laughs> I have a hard time with it, uh, Leopard, it's 10.5.9 uh, is the designation on it. If you want to give that a whirl, try it. Uh, I think you just just give your make your partition there. If you don't like it, you can always delete it. But I think once you get used to it, I think you're going to be really spoiled with it because it's very very buttery smooth on all the animations. It runs really good. You can get on YouTube with the thing. Uh, it's got web WebKit uh, browser on it, which looks like Safari, and it works really well. But anyway, yeah. So I'm going to uh, switch cameras here. Go back to my... Uh, that's the only thing I do not like about StreamYard is um, the multiple cameras. Now you can open up several different browsers, but um, it causes issues. And I just realized that I was not using my phone to stream, so I have no idea what this quality is going to look like. It might look terrible. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, I am just I wish there was some people here so we could chat. But there's nobody here. I thought Mike was going to be here because I texted him not too long ago. But anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, And Steve at Mac84, um, if you are aware of the saga with my yellow slashed cursed um, Mac Plus, uh, it's uh, awaiting a SCSI, blue SCSI drive. Um, he's going to put that together for me, graciously going to put that together. He's going to actually put some, uh, format the... Uh, little um, SD card on it. I'll have System 7 or 7.1 on it and then we'll be able to get that thing run really good. Uh, we do have that Apple Crate hard drive on it, the SCSI drive, but it's, you know, we kind of got System 7 on it, but it's uh, tends to hang up a lot because it need, that drive really needs to be for, reformatted and I don't have the the right stuff to format that unfortunately so anyway yeah i think i'm just going to wrap this stream up guys um it is what it is right but anyway uh i've got a couple more videos coming out here real soon i've got one with the uh the g4 cube in fact i will give you a sneak peek at it right here This is the um, CPU upgrade card that we're going to be putting in it. This is a, um, let me uh, switch to camera actually here so it'll be easier to see it here. And I will zoom in on it here. Hang on just a second here. Okay. So this is a newer tech card. This is a 2.1 gigahertz card uh, hurt from 68k Mac form he hooked me up with this and this has a humongous copper heat sink on it and this is going to go into the cube now you notice what this thing is this is actually an external 28 volt bypass so that way I do not have to use the uh, VRM board in there this will bypass it because the VRM, the VRM board will run this for a while, but it's just going to get overloaded and it'll burn it up. 
and possibly damage this. So this is we this is what we can use in the meantime. And then if I ever get that um, Stratus BRM board, it's an upgraded board. There's only one guy that makes them, and and we don't even know if he's around anymore. Um, but anyway, all we'd have to do is just take these two wires off, uh, flip the switch on there, and then we can use the uh, the, v the high power VRM board. But until then, this will work just fine. And there's just two plugs on the end of it for the 28 volt. And so that's coming up. And Sean from Action Retro is sending me the uh, firmware for that. Uh, he burnt me a, a disk. Uh, he sent me the files, but I just could not open them for whatever the reason. I could not decompress them. And he gave me all the information, so I just said, you know, can you just send me a CD? And he graciously is sending me one. So when we get that, then we'll be able to put the card in it, because you have to update the firmware before you can put that card in it. But we'll do a video on that, the whole process. And then we'll actually do benchmarks. I'll, we'll be comparing this with uh, his as terms of the Geekbench scores. Um, so I've done screenshots of his, what he's got on his, and we're going to uh, compare the two and see. Um, this has the Apollo 7 processor in it. His has the actual Apollo 8. They're both freescale processors, which means that they utilize uh, a couple of cache and they actually can be clocked up a little higher and they run a little cooler and so his is a 2 gigahertz this one's a 2.1 gigahertz so I'm just curious to see how much of a difference between them there is so it'd be interesting and like I said as soon as I get that blue SCSI from Steve we'll get the Mac Plus going good and then Mike's sending me that power book and then the other thing is DOS Dude, uh, he uh, hopefully has got those new L cache for the uh, G3 to G4 conversion that he did to my slot loader uh, iMac G3, the board on it. So should be hearing back from him. So we got lots of things that are finally kind of gelling and coming together. And so it'll be fun. And that's it. So, okay, guys, well, you know, I'm... Uh, just uh, sorry that nobody is in the chat here so I could talk to them, but you know what? It, it's all right. You'll get to catch this on the play. And so anyway, you guys have a good rest of your Sunday, what's less, left of it. Uh, some places in the world, it's already Monday. And so, yeah, so we'll uh, see you uh, in the next video, the next live stream. I might be doing one during Thanksgiving week sometime because uh, we're going to do the um, the keyboard on the Macintosh Plus. The B key does not work right. And so we have some tuner clean or some uh, special cleaner to clean the contacts and hopefully that takes care of the problem. If that doesn't, then we'll have to replace the, uh, the switch on it, on the key. So anyway, all right guys, I'll let you go. You guys have a great rest of your day, all right, or evening, I should say. And until then, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.